I have shown you what to do, how to make your beds the best way possible, okay? So I'm going to show you what not to do because when we do our trainings at the strawberry farm, I like showing farmers the both sides, the good side and the bad side. So, come on, turn the kazi. I'm going to show you things that you should never do while you're setting up your strawberry beds. You probably ask yourself, under whose authority? Well, let me say under my authority because over seven, eight years of doing strawberries, I know I did things the right way, I did things the wrong way. So let me show you how I did things the wrong way. And it'll be very unfair that you're watching this video and you actually do things the wrong way. Okay, so things not to do while setting up your strawberry beds. Number one, ensure your bed does, is, not more, is not less than two feet. If your bed is less than two feet and you get your fruits, remember your fruits is going to get in touch with the soil. And remember what I said, you're not supposed to harvest, wash, pack and deliver. You're supposed to harvest, pack and deliver because the fruit itself is supposed to be hanging. Okay, that's number one. Number two, Ensure your bed has a dome shape. Your bed should not be flat like this. If your bed is flat, okay, and let's say it rains and water gets in touch with your fruit, your fruit is actually going to get spoiled. Get spoiled, I mean, you're going to get what you call either anthracnose or botrytis. Botrytis for viewers is basically fruit mold. Just a big term <laughs> to threaten you, but don't do it, okay? Something else you should not do and you should never do, never, ever, ever step inside your bed, okay? Why? If you step on your bed, you're going to ensure, you're going to make the soil to become very, very hard. That means water percolation becomes a, a very big challenge, okay? And that's why if you realize our beds that are four feet wide, that means, and they're going to have four rows, okay, or even three rows, you're able to walk on one row from one side of the, of the walk path and the other bed on the other row on this other side. That means you'll never ever have to step inside your bed. Something else you should never do, please never use construction paper. I have seen so many farmers who actually go to the hardware store and say, I want the black paper for, for wood because I want to use it. But you, people never seem to realize that that paper that you buy from a hardware store is actually used for construction but it's very bad if you're using it for your strawberry beds and again as i said when people come for training actually show them practically how things are supposed to be done that black paper over time because of the sun is actually going to start tearing and once it starts tearing it becomes a very bad thing for you because that means your soil is exposed to the sun your plants are exposed to the sun. What does that mean? That means your plants are going to dry up really quickly, especially during a hot season, okay? So use the right mulching paper, the silver and black paper, which you can get to any agri shop, or you can also get in touch with us, or of course we'll direct you where you're going to get that paper. But please don't use the wrong mulching paper. The black paper that you buy from a hardware store is not recommended for strawberry growing. 